Hey everyone, and welcome back to the cold, stormy winter, where Jargol walks around with a bone speeder to go pick up sticks, and also there's thunder. <laughs> I guess uh, primitive life was primitive. Not a lot going on here today. In any event, uh, since I got most of the stuff explained. Um, from the last episode, I can probably do a lot more editing and play a little bit faster here today. I think the goals are going to be relatively simple. Just farm up a, a whole bunch of... Actually, I should probably go for tanning first. Maybe we can get some leather for the spring. But otherwise, just farm up some experience points so we can get into the Mesolithic era. And probably, ideally, we want to have a bigger population cap so we can throw down a few more houses. We've only got space for two right now. I like making a little circle here. I think that'll look really cool. Uh, and other than that, not much is going on. Whew, it is stormy. I wonder what happens when you turn it on fast speed. Oh, it still plays at the same speed. It's just... Yep. Oh, look at that. There were lightning bolts look out there in the, in the distance. No one seems to be affected whatsoever by all of this. One thing I'm noticing here is that we're very likely to be low on food. So why don't I take a look at that? We've got a uh, limit of 10 fish. I'm going to actually bump that up to f to 20. Now, I'm not sure what we have in the base. Let me click the different buttons here. Oh, F2. So, yeah, we actually have 10 cured meat, zero raw fish, and one dry fish. My guess is... Oh, I was going to say all of these banks were out of fish. But no, they all have fish. We just don't have many people going for it. All right. I guess just because we only have seven people, they've been busy doing other things. So we'll just let them gather fish, materials, dry some stuff. And that's it for a while. Well, here we go. That was pretty quick. New human has joined the settlement times four. All right. As far as I can tell, they don't get born into the colony, which is something I'm not a super big fan of. Uh, but luckily, we are building that tent because we are actually overpopulation by two. That's going to increase our production a lot. We went from like five adults to presumably... We have four children out of 11, is it? So we've got actually only five adults, but we've got two elderly. I guess an elderly lady walked into town with a bunch of children. Wonderful. <laughs> That's just what we need. Now we have no warm clothing either. Okay, so let's use our uh, points that we got from that to unlock the tanning. Although we do want to make the skins uh, first here. It looks like everything else is getting done before that. However, there's multiple spots here for people to work. So hopefully they come over here and help out. Yeah, look at this Draza, the old female. She's cold. Well, you shouldn't have wandered in wearing a loincloth. <laughs> Actually, according to this, she doesn't have any clothes. But you shouldn't have wandered in in the winter wearing a loincloth, you dope. What are you thinking? I guess maybe I should have overproduced skins outfits. I had it set to continue, so we were making one for everybody. But I probably should actually always make sure we have more than that. Let's hit F4 it is. So for the, the skin outfits, this is the one that keeps them warm. Let's make sure we've got 150% of our population at all times. And that way when people join, they can immediately grab clothes. Now I hope they don't all freeze to death. Uh, but we are going to be working on this as fast as possible. I could shut off other things in the meantime. Like, I don't think I need these bifaces faces so much, although they are the only tool we have for butchering, it looks like. So I suppose they're, they're useful. And there is the soothing sounds of the winter. Mensum. Look at these giant bones, wow. Everything must have been so different back then. It's like giant animals all over the place. Probably pools of blood everywhere from like butcher on left and right. Boy, where did these skulls come from, I wonder? Is that what we do with our dead? We stick their skulls on poles so we don't forget them? It's a bit eerie.
Oh, well, there you go. The winter is over. Survive the winter, knowledge plus one. And now we don't even need the warm clothes. I think we had made one of them, uh, but that was the extent of it. It's also like, ooh, look at this nice springtime. Everything's luscious green. It's also probably time since we now have axes that we throw down a, a workplace for logs. Where do I want to cut trees? Uh, I'd be happy with cutting them over here so we don't have bears wander in and ambush us when we're not paying attention. Obtain flint is exhausted. Uh, okay. That's the case. So the work area actually is completely gone. So we're going to need a new flint area. Or something I've had issues with before. This is... A, what is a, a flint deposit? Megalith. Here, here's some flint. Actually, there's a whole bunch of flint over here. You know what? Let's just put down a flint gathering area. Ooh, look at that. Four of them. I only saw three, but there's actually four. That's good. In any event, I've had issues with getting them to mine. Yeah, like right here. Flint. Mine. And for whatever reason, this just turns off mine not too long after. But let's go check the traders here. They're bringing dry skins, logs, bones, pulses, dry fish, and flint. We don't need any of that stuff. Toodaloo, friend. Now, we should probably start making leather outfits. Because those are better in the summer, as I recall. And then, hopefully, we've got a lot of fish. Yes, this is what I was worried about. See, the fish quantity is extremely low. And now that we've got more people, we're going to need a lot more fish. So let's go throw in some more fishing zones. I think we've hit... Yeah, let's go fish on those three. Awesome. Let's see how we're doing over here on this mine. Dre, the adult female, is just hacking away on the flint. Hmm. Maybe you're supposed to build... Maybe what the point of these things, you can mine them individually for a little while, but the point is to... Yeah, see? Now she's done. It's basically a single-use mining command. Maybe you're supposed to build a building over that later, or you mine out of it or something. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten too much further than this, to be honest. Sticks and logs are at nearly full capacity. Some of our trees are getting wrecked over here. To drum. You know what it might be time for? Is stone. Why don't we put a rock pile over here next to our log pile? And we can actually start putting in, obtain a stone. Yeah, look at all of that stone. That's absurdity. Let's get one person working on that. All right, we got more technology already. That was super fast. I haven't even built the tannery. Let's go for, um, I don't think dogs. I think we're going to go for sling making. We've unlocked sling making. Now, how many slings do we want? I don't know. They only take dry skins. We've got a fair bit. So one dry skin will make two slings. Let's put that on continuous so everyone has one. And then the other thing we were looking for was production. Uh, a tanner. One log, three sticks. Let's put that over here near the storage tank because it's most likely what we're going to use it. Now, for the tanning, I believe we're going to need to collect tannin. And we can collect that from trees up over in this area. So let's throw a collect tanning area there. Wonderful. And because we've expanded to such great extents that our storage tent is full, I think it's time to start building another storage tent. What the heck is this noise? Put it right next to the other one, but leave a little space so they can walk through. Awesome. Now, the only thing I'm worried about here is food. And looking at the top, we do have a decent amount of fish, raw and dry fish. We have no meat because we haven't been hunting at all. I'm a little concerned about the... Oh, look at this. There's a lion out here. A cave lion just ripping a goat apart because he's hungry. With a bison on the field behind. Poor goat. He's dead now and getting consumed by the lion. Oh, that ancient lion. Oh, he's just going to sit down. He's bored. <laughs> yep. He's going to I like how he folds his ears back. That's awesome. In any event, all of that happened. So maybe I can go over there and butcher that thing and take whatever things he left behind. Awesome. I'm concerned with, um, with hunting... 
I don't want to put down a hunting area, but I mean, all of these guys are super easy. Like this whole goat herd, since they're here, I think we should hunt literally the whole lot of them and see what happens. They're really close. They're really easy. We'll just kill the whole family. Hopefully there's more goat herd families on planet Earth. Likely. Oh, yep. Yeah, look, we're sneaking up. Sneaksy sneaks. Ambush. Nice. There goes one. It's going to be four meat, two skin, bunch of bones. Now, I could put a hunting zone right here, which is relatively close. Oh, nice. We just killed three of those guys. There we go. Four. Hunt Mouflon times five. Knowledge plus one. And there's now tons of meat. Uh, dry or raw leather and bones all over. We'll stack that up over here. And the time of spring is a plentiful time, friends. We've got very much going on there for meat and fish and food and whatnot. I wonder if I should start gathering berry fruits as well. Probably not. I think, I think we've got enough. And we're actually still waiting on quite a bit of dried skins from all those hunts. You know what I'm going to do? Let's throw down over here a hunting area. Fish hunt. If anything is foolish enough to walk right into our base where it's relatively safe, we'll hunt it. I hope that no bears wander or lions wander in there. They are pretty close nearby. But at the same time, if we're going to hunt them, it's better we fight them near our base than out in the wilderness with one person by themselves who will get absolutely wrecked. Oh, and look! Our first person down here. Ah, oh, I missed it. She was praying to the skull shrine. Gosh. Gosh. Wonderful. Everyone's moving around. Having a good time. We're producing an awful lot of stuff. We may need another uh, craft shop, but with how many things we're producing. Although it does seem like we're up to snuff on all of our tools, and now we're just waiting for slings and outfits, which require um, hides. And I think we're actually really low on hides. Because we haven't really been hunting very much. I've been trying to put it off to be relatively safe. Plus, it takes a lot of time to wander out there to get things done. Look at all these resources. The only things nearby are literally ancient bison and lions. And I don't want to hunt them. Oh, here's one guy. Who's this? A boar! We could turn him into a pig, but he's the only thing around that we can hunt. That we can see actually anywhere. Put one more fishing zone over here, I suppose, if we wanted more food. But let's hunt this one boar, and hopefully some people will come into town very soon. Cave bear attack. Oh, boy. Run away. What are you doing? What are you doing, Dre? You're not seriously hunting a cave bear by yourself. Why was she out here? Boar has escaped. Why on earth would Dre have been out here? That's crazy. How did she survive the cave bear attack? Let's right click. There's two people out here, actually. Ims is out there as well. What the? Did I click the bear by mistake when I meant to click the boar? I don't think so. I think maybe we came out here to hunt the boar and the bear attacked us is what happened. By the way, there's the boar. We never finished hunting it. I think it's safe, probably. I mean, the cave bear, he is pretty hungry. He's going after ancient bison. Yes. Let us watch. He's stalking. Look. Look at him. Just stalk on those bison. Get him. He just walked right by him, dopey. Oh my... <laughs> That's how a bear attacks? Holy... Boy, those bison don't go down easy, huh? Look at his little mouth. Wow. Let's check that bison out over here. So he's barely got any resource. I was going to go over there to... um scavenge him but now that the bear is full it's less likely he's going to attack us so i feel confident hunting that boar but wow yeah hunting is scary Ooh, what the heck what is this key the adult female is just going for a a really and i mean re what the <laughs> what the heck is this <laughs> ancient swimming techniques friends 
The waddling duck, we call this one. Uh... I guess? <laughs> there you go. I think this is the old... Is this Jargol? Jargol, the old man. What the... Is, she, is, is Jargol trying to teach her to swim? Is that what's going on? No, it's actually... It's Karagak. Um... Who's the other one over there? I can't see. He's in the way. I think it was Key, right? Key, the adult female. Yeah. I don't know. Apparently, swimming is incredibly... Actually, we're on one time speed. It's not that slow. Huh. Well. Thank you, uh... Karagak for teaching Key how to swim. Very much appreciate Back at the base, it looks like we actually have five fish and ten meat. That's my number one concern, is that we're not going to have any more food. So here's what we're going to do about it. Let's throw up some fishing zones. We've already covered these three, so let's try to make another one over there that covers those three. We now have three fishing zones spanning nine tiles. Two new humans have joined the, the settlement, which is unfortunate because we don't have any space for them, actually. Uh, and we're very low on leathers. Seems like hunting is our number one issue. I thought we would have plenty, and I mean plenty of leathers, because we'd be near the watering hole. But actually, there is not an animal anywhere near us. And the entire game uh, right now is coming to a standstill until we get more animals. Now, a woolly mammoth herd would really solve this problem fast, huh? Ooh, here are some goats. Ibex, actually. Ooh. Now, this is really far away. The time it's going to take to... Ooh, whoa! That's the watering hole that everyone went to. There's a bunch of husses out here. A whole herd of wild husses. We got mammoths out there. Oh, look at this. Boars. Whoever these guys are down there. This is... A different lake. Oh, yeah. This is where everybody is. Orocs over here next to the husses. More woolly mammoths over there. Every... Oh, look at this. Uh, oh, no. A wild donkey is being chased by a bear. Will he make it away, friends? Run, donkey. Run. Run. Run! You could do it! We believe in you! The bison's like, oh god, I'm out of here. This is not safe. Come on, donkey. The bears ever give up? Give up, friend. Surrender. I believe in the donkey. He's gonna run straight through the season. <laughs> he doesn't know where he's going, but he wants to live. Oh, boy. Yes, he lived! Friends, he has lived! Wild white donkey. We're gonna name you Eeyore. And we'll forget about you and never see you again because we can't actually name you or tag you. So we could come back later. His health was 50 out of 106. Ooh, he actually almost ran out of stamina. The bear did run out of stamina. What's it? Walk? Yeah, going after the Mufon. He's going to wander over here. I wonder if that bear is going to actually die because he spent so much of his stamina chasing things. Come on, Mufon. Don't be an idiot. Yeah, you just run. You got full stamina. You can't possibly be caught by a tired bear. Move on, don't take a nap by the lake. You need to move. I really I really want to know about this bear. Like, what's going to happen? Also, why didn't we put our base, like, right here? <laughs> so much more stuff. In any event, uh, the bear seems to be re regaming its stamina relatively quickly, at least faster than its uh, nutrition is going down, so... I think it'll be fine. It expended a lot of energy on that hunt. <gasps> What's this? An ancient bison. I think we need to hunt that. We need hides. Uh, which is actually why I came over here in the first place. So let's look around for some hides. Ah, uh, now we're talking a whole family. Oh, look at that. Six of them. Hunt them up. We're not going for sustainability here. We're going for give us those hides so we can get to the next level of the game. And just like that, 
We're back to where we started. A stormy winter's night. I can't believe that spring and summer went by so quickly. Woo. Look at the lands, friends. Look at the lands. I am surprised it's not snowy down here yet. It seems like the winter's almost completely done. I may have just missed it. It was so easy. We've got food. We've got leather. We've got wood. We've got fire. New human was born. Well, there you go. Look at this little dope. No hengor. No hengor. Welcome to the colony. No hengor. Look at the little dope. Little dopey no hengor. No hengor. Don't wander off and get eaten by a lion, buddy. This actually happens quite frequently. Like... Where where are, you, where are you going? And what are you doing? Oh no, who's joining you? Why this is like the children's march? What are you guys protesting now? Lack of like lion enclosures? Like <laughs> what could you possibly have? To, where are you guys going? In any event, there we go. Population 15 is reached. Another human was born. Knowledge plus 3. Our capacity is completely full here. We can indeed... Actually, I did have a goal this episode. We just uh, unlocked dog domestication, and we just unlocked spirituality. We did finish Paleolithic, and we're now moving towards Methylithic. All right. I think it's a good place for the episode. I actually forgot to start my timer, so I don't know how long it's been. Uh, but I have to go do some long war stream soon anyway. So, interesting. We, uh, we did get the entire research done. We could domesticate hounds now if we could find some i think wolves but i haven't seen a single wolf this game yet back in town people seem to be concerned about the lack of nutrition though we do have 30 23 cured meat and seven raw meat with eight dry fish i mean there's plenty of food they can just go get that it's all over here i mean look at how many drying racks we have going and both of our storage tents are filled to the brink with tools like we have an asinine amount of tools and do we have any... Yeah, we got 20 flint. We got 10 stone. That's our maximum. We got 14 bones, 5 raw skins, 20 sticks, 23 logs. We are stacked. The only thing we don't have an extra amount of is dry skin. And it also looks like we have yet to start doing our tannin collection. And I'm not quite sure. Maybe maybe my tannin zone got room. Oh, you can only do it in the springtime is why. Yes, this is very important. So I guess once the spring goes away, it's gone. So you have to remember to place another one. Flint, hunt, fish, collect, obtain. Yeah, we don't even have tannin in here. We can only do it in the spring. However, we're inches away from the spring. Let's just wait for it. There we go. Now we're in the springtime. Hmm. There. No. Well... Not sure exactly where this is. Milestone unlocks survival knowledge, survive the winter, made more by faces, made more harpoons. Hmm. Well, it was here before, but I can't find it right now, so I'll have to look at that a little bit later. Maybe there's just not. Maybe it takes a while for it to show up or something, but. In any event, I think that's it for episode El Numero Dos. We survived not one, but actually two winters, and things are coming along great, except for the fact that we need tannin, like, uh, a lot. So, until the future, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. But wow, yeah, hunting is scary. Ooh, what the heck? What is this? Key, the adult female's just going for a, a really, and I mean, what the? <laughs> what the heck is this? Is ancient swimming techniques, friends. The waddling duck, we call this one. 